Hi and welcome to Vincenzo's Plate. Today we are making spicy, angry pasta. We are doing pasta la arrabbiata, the angry pasta. But today is going to be romantic. Oh yeah, for Valentine's Day, this is what you want to make to your partner. And I can guarantee you, it will spice up your evening, if you know what I mean. We need simple ingredients for this pasta. That's what Italian cuisine is all about. Simplicity. Keep it simple, you never go wrong. So we get a nice pan and we put extra virgin olive oil, about four spoons. Then what we do, we need to get two garlics. You can finally, finally chop it. Or what I like to do for this recipe, I get a garlic crusher and we crush the two garlic cloves in the pan. That way it's creamier and it, I like the way it mixes with the sauce. We also want to get chili and I've got a beautiful homemade, this is grows in the garden, very very strong chili. If you don't like strong chili you can go for a mild chili and we want to finally finally chop the chili and put it together with the garlic. Cook it a little bit, give the flavor to the oil. We also want to finally finally chop parsley you can use as much as you want when you finally chop the parsley don't forget that the stalk is where the flavor is this is nice for the decoration but the real flavor of the parsley you get it from the stalk so make sure you use it Ta-da! here we have parsley bay and then we need about 800 grams it's like a big thing of peeled tomatoes best if you get the Italian tomatoes because as you know the Italian tomatoes are nice and sweet. We get a tin of tomato and we want to crush it. So we want to crush it, crush, 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 until the tomatoes becomes a, a passata, a puree. The flavors of the Italian soil are coming out. These are beautiful sweet tomatoes. Why is this pasta called arrabbiata? Arrabbiata means angry angry so this pasta is very very spicy and it's, it's angry so it's arrabbiata we also want to add some salt and pepper pepper is very important in roman cuisine romans really really love the pepper and then we get a spoon and mix it very well mix 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 okay now all the ingredients are ready see very simple we can cook the pasta and we're using Busiati Trapanesi, a regional pasta from Sicily. And Sicily really love the spicy dishes. So I wanted to combine spicy from Rome with, uh, with a beautiful pasta from Sicily. This is from Bella Italia, a brand that focuses on regional pastas. Uh, it takes about 12 minutes to cook. So while the pasta is cooking, I'm also warming up the sauce. So I'm adding the cherry tomatoes that we crushed in the sauce and for about 10 minutes you want to cook these beautiful fresh tomatoes. It doesn't have to cook too, for too long, you know? It's nice and fresh and we want to keep it fresh. After about five minutes, we want to add the parsley in the sauce and give the parsley flavor. This delicious, yummy sauce. When the pasta is almost ready, so we have two minutes left for the pasta, I like to add a few leaves of basil into the tomatoes. I don't care what people say, oh, you don't put basil in the arrabbiata. I like basil because tomato needs basil. They go so well together. Huh? Do you agree with me? So put the basil in there, let it sit so it gets the flavor. Now the pasta is ready. Strain the pasta out. It doesn't matter if you have a little bit of water left. You actually need a little bit of water so the sauce uh, becomes a little bit more uh, runny. Put the pasta in the pan and now this is the moment where you mix very well. Mix it. Beautiful flavor coming out from this pan. I oh, love it. Now we need to add the pecorino and the parsley to garnish it. Let's finish it off. So just get the pecorino romano and just be very generous. Use your hands for this, no spoons. Use your hands and just put the pecorino all over the top. And then we get the parsley that we chopped before to garnish this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful spicy dish. Now it's time to plate this delicious pasta. So we get a nice big spoon and put it on a wonderful plate. And to finish it off, 
we want to add more pecorino cheese and then you put it in your mouth and enjoy it with a glass of wine. I don't care what you like to do, but I eat my pasta straight from the pan. And I have to eat it outside because it's such a spicy pasta that I need the fresh air to cool me down. So thank you so much for watching this episode. We will see you in the next Vincenzo's Plate video recipe. E ora si mangia. Vincenzo's Plate. Let's see if this is very angry. Angry. mouth is on fire. Oh, I need a glass of wine. Oh wow, it's so spicy. Ah. Get a garlic crusher because it makes it creamier.